I mean, you see so many times in scripture, there's all these commands and there's so many commands even just to sing. So it's like, you know, do not murder and sing. <laughs> so there's just God obviously cares about this. Uh, but sometimes we don't understand why and we don't understand not only the practical aspects, but the spiritual component that goes into corporate worship and also personal worship. So I think this is going to be a conference that kind of unveils a little bit of those answers for you. All right, so Jasmine, uh, are you an expressive worshiper? Uh, I think so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that grace as a whole is extremely expressive physically in our worship? Not extremely. <laughs> I almost raised my hand one time. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would so, be a wonderful So, so for yeah. being a Presbyterian, that mm -hmm. is, that, yeah, that's, that's a big step. That's like step. varsity. That's yeah. a big step. <laughs> How important is that, you think, to God? Or hmm. And will this event give us a chance to relax a little bit, maybe, and encourage people to... You know, David danced before the Lord, right? right? Maybe we can get some worship dancing going. You know, it's funny that we think about, we're so, we're so taught different patterns of prayer and of worship, and a lot of that is shaped by our culture. And in the past, you know, 50 years, or it's been prayer is close your eyes, fold your hands, mm -hmm. and now we are praying, um, or now, you know, singing, we're standing still, and, and we're singing. And so to a lot of people, that is, that's normal, and that is um, the view of correct posture, uh, but a lot of times when you look in scripture and in early church, it was actually raised hands and open eyes up to the heavens. And so it's funny how a lot of what has come in in some of the modern worship does reflect a lot of what the early church was doing. But we have these kind of cultural norms that we can hold fast to um, and just assume rightness or legitimacy when neither is wrong. Um, but we get the opportunity just to kind of explore all postures, all expressions, because there's some time that it is just overt and just boisterous, and there's times that it is um, it reverence and, and silence before His holiness. And I think that it's, a, it's an opportunity to explore all, all ways to not just sing, but experience Jesus. I was raised as worship is solemn. Mm -hmm. Worship is personal. It's mm -hmm. not... It, outward expression to others it is mm -hmm. my expression to God and so the idea of this communal group worship is something that is exciting to me but it also it's very different mm -hmm. from what I've been taught in the past you need to sit next to me we'll do amens together <laughs> <laughs> I've done it I've done it I've I, actually, I have said amen yeah, mm -hmm. right. but, but I mean that's well. I was sitting right behind Kevin when I did it <laughs> because people would look and they, they would think it was yeah. Kevin that said it. And um, but yeah, it's that that whole part of the hand raising, the Bible raising, the amens. That that was not a. It was not never frowned upon, but it wasn't a nurtured part. Mm -hmm. It wasn't part of the culture. Sure. I think of, we of try and a lot of, in a lot of cultures we try and be polite you know like you, it, there's that sense mm -hmm. of like be polite you just kind of stay to yourself or you you don't um, want to be distracted yeah. you know you don't want to feel like you're interrupting right but then yeah. if you but I think then that's when you get into the view of they're performing and we're listening mm -hmm. when that's so not the view that, it, that we are corporately worshiping so interrupt and sing loudly and sing before the Lord. Yeah. All right, Jasmine, you get to wrap things up. Uh, give, give us an invitation and encourage people to come. Living in Grace. <laughs> right. uh, um, yeah, come to Living in Grace Conference. <laughs> I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, and I think it'll just be a, a really sweet time, just obvious, as we've been talking about it, to just hear more about how to worship God, what it looks like, what it can be like, how it can grow us and develop us. Um, in our relationship with God and also in our relationships with one another. So, Awesome. Thanks, guys.